uh, welcome back. I want to quickly uh, show you something. Uh, some saxophone comes, uh, the way it comes, this one, uh, they come in different colors. This one is uh, nickel plated keys and gold. And then uh, this one is um, that silver and gold. This one is pure gold, just gold. The other uh, one is gold. This ones are gold. Then this one, these two, these ones are actually branded colors. We brand them ourselves here. I actually uh, uh, spray this myself. I do it professionally. For those of you that want to bring your sacks for spraying, I have spoiled a lot of sacks before I was able to get it right. My first sacks, I scattered it by spraying it. What are the things that uh, was the problem then was I was spraying it too thick. When you go and you are spraying it too thick, you, are pouring the, you just pour the paint anyhow, not evenly sprayed. Sometimes you have to use a high pressure machine to spray it so that it will go even, it will, the paint will be even. So I learned the hard way. The next thing was that there were places I was not supposed to allow my spray to touch. I sprayed everywhere. And then, um, so the kids were not jumping up as they should. They were not coming up as they should. The next uh, thing I did was, I sprayed it with just paint. I didn't put the clear chemical that, uh, that rests on it as a gum. It, stays, it sticks to it. And then it doesn't, and then it adds some shines to it. And it doesn't, uh, even if I scratch it, see? Even if I'm scratching it like this, it will not scratch like the ones you didn't put that chemical. So if you want to spray sacks, it's okay, but make sure you use the right spray. Don't use the cheap uh, spray, uh, paints. There are a lot of paints. I go for the more expensive ones so that they stay and they give me the color I want. And then I even put chemical on top and then it stays. So look at this. I just sprayed this right now. A student brought it and I just finished spraying it. And it's looking beautiful. Look at that. Very beautiful. All right, so this is it. So you have different colors. I usually like black and gold because that is New World Empire uh, a brand color. That's our brand color. If you see from our logo everywhere, black and um, gold. So, and then it's really very nice. And this one is, look at it. The, this one is like black team. This one is like gold team. So black team is one that has black inside and the, the keys are, you can actually have this kind of sacks on Amazon to buy. So, but this one, you have it customized, and sometimes I add my name, like you can see, Mosax. And I even have a better way of doing it now that if I crest it, you won't believe it. And then sometimes I put my logo if I want. And uh, all right, so that's it. So I just spray this now, I'm going to test it. Um, so if you're going to lose, it will involve, for two colors, it will involve you losing the whole, the entire, uh, dismantling the entire saxophone, which I did. The, 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 in the process, as I'm fixing it back, I'm servicing it. I'm using the opportunity to service it. And then, uh, uh, this particular one had a spring problem. I have this other sax here. This is my old sax, sprayed also. It's Vera Sax. Uh, Vera Sax saxophone, sprayed also. Look at the Vera the Sax, branded. And uh, this one too was sprayed. For sax. So this is our old stars. We're using it for tunes. And uh, now I use it for repairs. I just remove one pin now. I use it to fix this one. So this one is, I just kept it. I was supposed to either sell it or give it out, but I decided to use it to, to fix sax. So for somebody come, this one is off on your sax. I can pull it off. I use the springs. I use the, the knots to repair other sax. I think repair, from here I've repaired like four or five sacks from here. So this sack is the one that gave his life for other sacks. So let's go now. So this is it. I'm testing it for the first time after spraying it. All the keys are jumping up. They are not sticking again. Initially they were sticking because of the gum I applied to the paint. Now they are not sticking again. So all the springs are on. They are jumping. They are fine. So let's go. The first thing I usually like testing is the low notes. The low notes are usually a challenge. 
B flat. <laughs> Test me the sax is good. Everything is ready. So octave. Uh, this guy usually, if he's not closing well, you begin to have problem with your low notes. So it's fine. Uh, this guy is fine. All the parts are closing. This one is not closing well. Some 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 sax pads usually bends if it's supposed to rest flat. By the time it bends this way, you notice that this side touching the 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 circle the hole first before this side will not allow this side to close so you begin to have a hole here you have to fix that kind of sacks once i identify it i'll just go to the to that part and tilt it a little bit towards the part that is not closing and then sometimes it balances up and then you see that it's closing sometimes it might be that the spring is not on it's not uh, it's it's not the spring is the the pins are off you check everything and then service. So usually when I spray that, I service as well. Does the spraying affect the sound? Absolutely no. What affects the sound is your mouthpiece, your reed, your size of even the saxophone itself. So but for those of you that have spray sacks and you spray with thick colors, thick paints, and you begin to spray, wah, then the thing is thick and then it's now dry. You now see it coming out very thick. It can affect your sound because the, the sound, the, so, the, the texture of the material has been tampered with so, uh, in the course of spraying too hard. And usually you don't spray sacks two times. If after spraying this out, if I have to spray it again, I most likely have to sandpaper it with lots of sandpaper that I did. Uh, sandpaper it and make sure it's you know smooth and then um, then I can spray over it. So <laughs> all right, the owner is here. Let me quickly give the owner to come and play. Uh, come and test your socks if. You find everything right. You brought it all the way. Travel down. Let's see if you are okay with the sax. Come over here and just play something, maybe major scale, and see if your sax is cool. And then come and testify. All right, let's go. And let's go. Yeah. Sit down. Uh -huh. Clear ground. Uh, it's okay. You are good. Okay, so that's the sax sprayed and beautiful everywhere glittering right now. I like it. I like it. So play it now. Let me see. <laughs> song like um do a song like um you are a mighty girl let me hear you all right let's go That's good. So how, how, um, how long have you been following this channel? All right. I've been following this channel oh. since last year. And uh, every day, almost every day, I try to check and look after every uh, uh, notification I receive. And then I watch through. I see that they are really mentors that I should follow them. And uh, I 
I look up to God to help me get to their level one day. But he, he, one of the things I like about him is he teaches with clarity. He uses good diction. He speaks like us, Nigerians. Yes. So down so to we, Yes, we understand mm -hmm. the way he talks, and then everything is just direct. So I saw that uh, the, the Oibo guys I, I was following, I have to bend from uh, that side. I'll and come, to, I'll come, come to back home. home. <laughs> and today I am glad I'm with him right here in Abuja. And uh, this, this is New World Empire, yes. a place to be. Yes. Hoping to bring more people to this family. Yes. And I am one. Yes. Okay, that's good. So, guys, just hearing him play, I know videos we can suggest for him to. That's the good thing about meeting students one on one. But I could hear him now, not. Uh, all this while I've never heard you play, but hearing you play, I could just tell, okay, slurring, grace note, okay, vibrato, okay, all of this and all of that. So, where I, I'm sure where he lives, he's going to um, uh, get some of our courses and then uh, probably just stay with us in some of the one-on-one -on -one classes that we can uh, take through one or two of those things. All right, so that's the sax. He has played it. Uh, it has been sprayed. I think it's better in looks yeah, than... Better. Um, the way it is, it's, it's well branded, it's fine. I love it. And um, we maintain the texture of the sa of the sacks. We did not um, spread it in a way that, and the paint will not, will not, um, you know, scratch because of the, the, because of the the paint, the the chemical we applied on it. So it's going to be for a good time. Maybe when you now get to so get a more. Uh, uh, higher sax will give you more better advice on how to go about it. And then, for those of you watching, thank you for your time. Uh, uh, the name, sir, please. The name is Chris Ben. Chris Ben. Chris Ben. That is Chris Ben. You're welcome Chris to ben. New World Empire. And I hope that uh, we will be seeing more of you uh, as you keep coming around. So All right, guys. Thank you. thank you very much. All right. So, let's just say bye. Thank you for joining us for this class. So, Ah, uh, we're done. All Bye. right. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.